Hi everyone, I am Jenna, this is Apple Dolly, and welcome. So I know, I'm trying to get my phone to hook up here so I can see your comments. And yeah, it's not going to, no. oh well, maybe eventually it'll hook up. So welcome. Grab your coffee, whatever your choice of drink is, and join me because I know I've been teasing the last couple of days what we're making. Night light bulbs. No, we're not making the light, night light bulb. We're using the night light bulb. Just a typical night light bulb. So um, I've already done some ahead of time and uh, I'm a couple minutes early, so I'm just going to try to hook up my phone so I can pay attention to what you all are talking about. So what is this telling me? I keep getting this pop-up. Yeah. not gonna hmm no one getting a notification because I'm not either Okay, so when you're here, let me know that I'm live. I'm not sure why I'm, I keep having these connection problems. If it's Facebook, if it's our internet, I'm not sure. So anyway, I am Jenna, this is Apple Dolly, and I, okay, Diana. So at least I know I'm live. <laughs> I'm like, oh, am I not connected? This says I'm live, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Let's see now if my phone will connect. No. Okay. Well, if you have a question, you have a comment, I guess I'll see it after the fact. Um, because, hi, Dreama. The computer's too far away for me to see. Um, so anyway, I know I've been teasing the last couple of days what we're making. Hi, Tony. We're doing night light bulbs. We're not making the night light bulb. We are decorating these. Now, when I was doing craft shows back in the 90s, um, there was a gentleman that was set up in a booth next to me. And... What we're going to do to these bulbs, I was paying three and four dollars a bulb. So um, he made a deal with me. I had something on my booth that he wanted for his wife. He was making these bulbs because his wife was ill. So he took her home a very pretty doll and I got his recipe. And it's not really a recipe. It's very, very simple. And I was flabbergasted when he told me how he did these. So you have to get just a night light bulb, you know, the kind you put in your candles, um, and clean them with alcohol. Now when you do that, just plain rubbing alcohol, you want to get anything that's on there off. Uh, you want a totally clean bulb. Now, um, we're also, because we're going to do these for the next slide. What we're doing to these goes in with the next slide. But they're just for these candles. These candles I get from Amazon. I really like these. I will post a link if you want these. Uh, this base is very heavy. These will not fall out of your window. I can't tell you how old these are. These are ancient. Uh, but they still carry them. 
but I like these because my daughter had a cat that just thought the house was his and we were living with it. Every time I changed the bulbs in these, he'd go knock them out of the window. Why? Who knows? He's a cat. So I found these not on Amazon back then. There was no Amazon back then. I found them at Bonton, which no longer exists, that store. And I paid a fortune for them. They're not very expensive now on Amazon. So what I like about them, you put the battery in and now if you say I don't have a window seal that these will sit in, also on Amazon you can get these. Now they are I think six or eight for twenty dollars. All you do, you get them flat, you get the suction cups, you put the suction cups in. Now if you say you, your suction cups won't stay in your windows, clean your suction cup with Windex and then stick it, they won't come out. But all you do with these is you flip this up, hear that click? You flip this down and you stick your candle right in there, suction cup it. And these are heavy and these things will hold these candlesticks. So if you don't have these candlesticks and you have the just the plain white one, it definitely will hold, but it holds these and these are heavy. So these just suction cup to the window. So if you don't have a window seal or you want to stick it to a mirror or someplace else, um, these are perfect, these holders. And they're clear, so, I mean, you see it, but you don't really see it that much. And they don't take these bulbs. They take these bulbs because they got that metal disc on the bottom, the connector uh, battery. So... But we're also going to do these because I'm doing these for my windows right now. What you need is some kind of wire. This is a florist wire and something to cut your um, wire with. The, this wire will just cut with regular scissors. If you use a heavier wire, you might need a, a snip. Um, you might need a popsicle stick or a craft stick. You know, when your kids are eating popsicles, don't let them throw the stick away. Keep it. Throw, tell them to throw the stick in the sink. Hot water, hot soapy water. You know, why throw them away and go, then go buy them. Um, you need whatever spice you're going to use. Mine is cinnamon. Um, they smell fantastic with just plain nutmeg. Um, now, how much spice? That depends on how much scent you want. Um, because as this heats up, you get this. So if you like a really strong scent, then you want to add more. Now, the more you add, the darker your bulb, the color of your bulb is going to be. So remember, you want light to come through this too. So you don't want to make it black. But now I tried yesterday to what we're using to do all of this with uh, regular cooking vanilla and it ruined <laughs> so what you need are if you want to use um, vanilla you need to go and get the Lorraine oils that you make heart attack candy with it has to be the oil now if you want to use cinnamon oil I know some of you are watching from like the Uniontown area, Pennsylvania. Uh, you can go to Nickman Pharmacy. Uh, I don't know if other pharmacies do it, but I know Nickman Pharmacists will give you candy oil and tell them you want it clear and they won't put the coloring in it. So you can get clear vanilla. I'm sure you can buy clear vanilla, but I think it's really expensive. But um, it has to be oil. You add like we're going to mix it in just part of my water bottle. If there is any moisture in your container at all, it's totally ruined. Okay, I'm going to show you what it does when I added the vanilla because the vanilla has water in it, um, especially the imitation. Now, if you get used real vanilla, which is expensive, it's made with vodka. Did you know that? Yeah. And it sits for a very long time. It, it cures in barrels for a very long time. But you can use the candy oils. Now you know you can get everything in a candy oil. Um, now if you use, I'm going to warn you, because <laughs> I did this. 
if you use anise. We had a black lab. Dogs like anise. She chewed my bulbs because of the anise. Luckily, we got her before her mouth got cut. So if you have dogs, don't use anise because <laughs> your pets are going to destroy your candles. So, I see, I told you, I would tell you our mistakes, my mistakes, and I'll even show them to you. So, but what's going to pull all of this together? I told you Wednesday, you had to go to Lowe's. Now, you don't have to buy the tube that goes in a caulking gun. They sell like a toothpaste tube, but you want silicone. And I will post a picture of this in the comments. Now, not just any silicone. It has to be the kitchen and bath. Make sure you get the low odor because silicone really has a bad odor. And if you're doing it in your house, you don't want that chemical smell in your house. So get the low odor because this actually has no odor. This is made from by DAP, uh, Advanced Modici Modified Polymer Kitchen and Bath. Now, it says it dries in 30 minutes. Now, maybe for the purpose that this is supposed to be used for, it does in 30 minutes. But I checked my bulbs after 30 minutes when I did these yesterday, and I got silicone on me. Now, if you get silicone on you, you need nail polish remover to take it off. It's not going to wash off. I forgot to pick it up yesterday when I was running around picking up all the different things that I need. So Tony had brake cleaner. <laughs> so that's what I use. Hey, you use what you have, right? But this is it. Kitchen and bath. It has to be kitchen and bath. The other silicones, I've tried them. They do not work. So um, I don't know what the difference is. But but this is um, made for it to be around water. Maybe that's the difference. But just because it says it dries in 30 minutes, you can't do this 30 minutes and put it in your window because you're going to get um, silicone on your curtains and on your fingers. Um, now, I have heard, I, like I said, I had this on my hand, a good bit of it on my hand yesterday, um, that this will burn if it's left on for a period, on your skin a period of time. So if you have sensitive skin, be aware of that. Um, but I had it on my hand yesterday until I found something to take it off. And, yeah, it, I, I don't have a burn. I have a really bad um, burn from a glue gun that I can't seem to get. It's, oh, it's almost two weeks old now. It won't go away. So, but I'm covering it up because of all the crap I've been crafting with the last week. So I don't want, want it to get infected. But kitchen and bath silicone. Make sure it says low odor on it because uh, this has no odor. So maybe it's just, you know, my sinuses are kind of acting up. So maybe that's the reason. But it's um, made by DAP. There's a glare. Let's see if I can get away from no, the, gl the glare is from the light overhead. Okay. So this is what's going to make our light bulbs. Let me show you a couple. Now I did them two different ways. Now this is one that goes in my candles. Now this one, I like that nubby look. I'm going to show you how to get a smoother look. And I'm also going to show you if you like that big wick drip coming off. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that too. But it, it's real nubby looking. Now this one, while it was wet, I just put the sprinkled cinnamon on it. So it's a real light brown. Yeah, this one's got batteries in it. Let me show you. Can you see? But when that bulb starts to warm up, and it'll warm up quicker because it has the silicone on it, you get the scent. It's a faint scent, but if you craft with cinnamon, you know, if you're doing all this primitive stuff that we're going to be doing, you're going to have a nice cinnamon scent in your house. It's another way of 
to center house. So let's leave this sit over here. Let me get it one off here. This is one that I mixed the cinnamon in the silicone. See how dark it is? Yeah. There's the difference. Now, I don't know why this gets so dark when you mix the cinnamon in it and just sprinkling it on it stays light. I like them both. So, let's get started. I just hung them. You have to hang these to dry. So, you want to take some wire. You want enough wire. You want to wrap it around the grooves of the metal part that you screw into your light. And you want to wrap this around three, four times tight. You want it tight because you don't want it to come off while it's drying. Okay, so we're going to put take our container, whatever container you're using, and we're going to squirt some of this in here. Now, I do not have hand strength at all, so I had to have Tony help me yesterday. But we're just going to squirt it in there, and you want enough that you can dip your bulb into. So when you're picking your container, keep that in mind. Because you don't want a big container and then not be able to dip your bulb into it. But you can also, when you put this in there, like stack it up. See? Now when you're dipping your bulb in, you don't, why am I getting blurry or is it me? You don't want to hold it by the wire. It'll come off. There we go. Not sure what happened there. You want to hold it by the metal. Okay? And you don't want the silicone to go on the metal because that's got to screw into your um, candle. So hold it by the metal. Dip it in and twirl it in your silicone. Now, before you put your bulb in, if you, you can mix your cinnamon right in there, mix your oil in there. Uh, you can paint this also. You can add the paint right into the silicone. It has to be the, the oil, um, artist oil paints. See what I, this is what I've got so far. I'm going to take my craft stick and I'm going to just start working this around. You want it to be thick, but not so thick that your um, light don't come through. Now, if you like the clear look, you can just leave it clear. But you can smooth this out the way I'm doing now. I'm just running the popsicle stick or craft stick right around it. And you get more of a smooth look. And then take it up to the point. Now, when you get to this point, pull it, and you get that, see that? See that? You get the, now you can smooth this out, and that is all there is to it. Now, when you put your silicone, like I said, in your, um, now if you want a bigger drip, is what that is. You just keep pulling it until you get the, the drip you want. Now after this dries, if you think, oh, I'd like a bigger drip on that, just put some more on there. There you go. That's, that's it. Now at this point, you can sprinkle cinnamon on it. You can um, let this dry. You can paint this. You can add the paint to the silicone as long as it's an oil an artist oil. Um, you can have them for all the holidays. Paint them pink for Easter, red for Christmas, you know, brown. Well, brown, you can use the cinnamon to get that. But that is it. And I was paying three, four dollars a bulb. Look how fast I did that. You could do a whole bunch of these. These would sell. If you make stuff to sell, Dreamer, um, 
<laughs> there you go. That's how simple that is to do. Now, I'm going to sprinkle cinnamon on this because I like that look. I don't like the real dark. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Now, once you do this, um, just knock off the axe, the rest. There you go. And then if you missed an area with the um, the spice, you can tell. But you can mix it right in your container too. So there's one that we just sprinkled the cinnamon on. Let me hang this to dry. Now these did take 24 hours. This morning, like 11 o'clock is when I started yesterday. So at 11 o'clock this morning, these were able to be handled. Um, but last night, when I before we went to bed, I kind of squeezed them, and still, the silicone was really soft. So there's that one. So let's get our cinnamon and dump it in here. Now I only have the uh, regular candy oil, which is red, and I don't want red. So. I'm not going to add that. So I'm going to mix this cinnamon in. Now, whatever container you use, it has to be thrown away after the fact. Oh, I, did, I wanted to show you. This is what I added cooking vanilla to, and I just got a rubber ball. That's what I got, a rubber ball. That, and that's what it feels like too, one of those kids rubber balls they play with. So I ruined this because this is instantly what it turned into be. It's just a rubber ball. So you cannot use the cooking vanilla in this for this instant. Everything else I make you can use cooking vanilla. But this one, yeah, you can make rubber balls. <laughs> So let me get another ball. Oops. Let me get some wire. Now, if you think I'm just wasting wire, you know what are you gonna keep the wire? Just have a like a box or a container you put your pieces of wire in because you can always use them. I do. And you start crafting with me, you will too. So I'm just going to put my bulb in there and just grab, I'm holding it by the metal, and I'm just going to grab some silicone. Okay, just got some on there. And I'm going to use my, now this is not enough, I need to get some more. But I like the bumpy look, you might like that, um, the smooth look. The smooth look is more of what you can buy. That's um, the different companies manufacture the smooth look. I like the bumpy look. But see how dark adding the cinnamon to the, it, it gets? I don't know why. But somebody might be able to explain it. I can't. I just do it. I just do this. Now, um, I haven't tried it, but um, somebody told me that you can use car silicone for this. Um, you get in an auto parts store. I've never tried it. I never go to an auto parts store, but um, if you have a husband that works on cars, he might have some and you could try it. Because these bulbs are really cheap. I mean, I got three of them yesterday in a pack at Dollar Tree. So, and the silicone for this big tube was almost $9. And then there's a lot of silicone in there. Because you can just see, I'm just using a little bit. Um, so, I mean, they're not expensive to make. You can make these for pennies if you're going to sell them to make it sell. And I will put all these directions 
I'm starting a blog, but I haven't gotten it done yet. Now, if you want the waxy look, see what I'm doing? Just like if you're making, um, what kind of icing is that, that you get the hard peaks? Well, that's what you want, hard peaks. Let me get some more to get a drip on there. So you just want to pull this, see? You want it longer? Just keep adding, pulling. Just put a daub on there and pull. There you go. Look at that one. Now when you hang it upside down, it's going to stay just like that if that's the way you want it. So we are making these. Let me get that one. Now when I hang that over, I make a loop and I hang it over. I push that loop together. Uh, you don't want it to adhere to your floor or whatever surface you're, whatever you're putting your, uh, hanging them from. Um, yeah, you don't want a silicone light pile stuck to your surface. So I always leave a bit of a tail. Can you see that? And I wrap this around and then I wrap the tail around. It seems to be more of a secure. See? I need more silicone. Now, I think there was some confusion Wednesday when I said about the giveaway. You must like, comment. Now, comment in the comment section could be an emoji, anything like that, in the comment section. You must like it, anything on Apple Dolly. It doesn't matter if I made it a year ago. You must like it, put something in the comment section, and you must share it to your page. You have to do all three. I have a lot of people that's just going through liking everything, and that's not going to put you in the... The analytics is set up for all three. You have to do all three. So, if you're now saying, well, crap. I just went and liked everything on the page. Now I got to go back and comment and share it too. Just the more you do it, the more the analytics is going to pick up on you. And the two top people will be able to pick anything that I've made from Wednesday to the day after Thanksgiving is when I'm going to pull this up and say, hey, this is the two top people that contributed. And the reason I'm doing that is I need to get this rhythm going with Facebook, try to make them happy. Is that possible? I don't know. But I need to, um, so that they will start sharing my stuff. I have all my posts on public, but public's not getting very much of my stuff right now because, well, first, I don't have a thousand followers. So if you like and share and comment on my stuff, then maybe the people from your page will say, hey, who is that? I'm going to go join her page. And I'm trying to build up a, a community, as they call it. So let's get this mixed up. So this has a 30-minute dry time, as it is. So once you do this, you have, I would say, 20 minutes to work with it. Um, I wouldn't push it further than that. So if you want to squirt a whole bunch of this silicone in a container and just start whipping these things out, you know, you could do that. Remember, just hold the ball by the metal part, not your, and just grab some of it. Let me get my stick. So you can dip it in or you can just spoon it on. 
And you want to go all the, almost all the way up to that metal ring. Let's move this out. I still don't have enough. Now, if you put a big gob on here and it's too much, you can take it back off. Just like icing. That's what we're doing. We're icing our light bulbs. Now, if you put it on really, really thick, you're not going to get much light through. So you want enough to cover, but you don't want it. I'm trying to think of an analogy. You don't want it so thick that. So, Diana, you didn't get notifications. Go up in the three little dots. where you um, joined and you can set up how you want notifications you can set up all some highlights it's your choice okay now if when you do this look at it if you see where some parts are not as thick as the others you can go back and add to it And smooth it out, make it bumpy. But you can also take this and make like a swirl all the way around it. Now see, I'm, it's just taking me, what, a couple minutes? Not even that long per ball. So this would be a nice Christmas gift for somebody that if they use window lights, um, you could get them a couple lights and uh, give them some bulbs, find out what their favorite scent is, and uh, I would like a gift like that, especially if it was handmade, right? Now these, um, these plastic candles yeah they have drip marks on them you can use old english scratch cover now mine i hit it on the corner of the door and it, the bottle cracked so mine's in a pop bottle but this is old english scratch cover just put some shake this when you use it because this is made from walnuts and it will whatever it touches it's stained so the rags i use this with you can put it on your furniture I've used this as furniture stain and it comes out really nice stain I like it um, especially if you're doing like the country look put some on your rag and just wipe over this see it goes right on now let it dry now when this is dry if you don't like and I put a lot of it around where their drips are. You can't tell it. Just to get more stain in the drips. If you want to enhance those drips, just set it off to dry. It takes about a half hour for that plastic to really stain. Uh, take your glue gun. Go, go back over their drips and make them more uh, pronounced. And then stain them again. But see, I think that's pretty all lit up. Yeah, you get a glare. Let's see if I can tip this somehow. But see, the light still comes through that silicone and the cinnamon. Let me get a baby wipe. Yuck. This stuff, that, um, it, old egg of scratch covers, like, a, it has, like, an oily film from it. I think it's from the walnut shells that they grind, but it does stain, and normally I wear gloves when I'm using it, because, but it'll, it will wash off your hands. So let's make one more. Get this wire wrapped around. Well, that didn't work. 
You want to make sure your wire gets in those grooves because that's what's going to hold. And I always give it a shake just just because you don't want this stuff on your hands. I had a heck of a time getting it off yesterday. And even after I used Tony's brake cleaner to get it off, which you know, is really good for your skin too, right? I just coated my hands in a lot of um, uh, lotion after the fact. But, yeah. And then even after, because you got your cinnamon mixed in here, you can sprinkle more cinnamon on here or another scent. Allspice, nutmeg, ginger, the pie spices. Um, and I get all of my spices that I craft with my vanilla, everything. I get it at Dollar Tree. I don't use any of the really good. Like, if you want to scrape this off, you need like a third hand. But I think most things we do in a house, you need three hands or four hands. I'm just getting it all the way down to almost like a hair from that um, rim. So you really can whip these out no time at all. And I'm not sure how many I would get from this uh, the tube for the caulking gun because I, there's still a lot left in there. But three or four dollars a bulb or pennies I'll do the pennies, right? Especially if you have, you do a lot of decorating with um, these candles around your house in different um, settings. And we're going to make a um, something and we're going to put one of these candles in it. So, what my tip. So, when, if this is something you choose, if you're the winner um, the day after Thanksgiving, you're getting six of these bulbs. The um, snowman hats that I made the other day, as soon as I posted both of them finished, um, a customer bought them. So I have more cut out than I'm doing them, and they will look exactly like the ones that we did Wednesday on the live. And uh, so those snowman, snowman hats are still on the drawing. Anything I'm making, I'm getting ready to do lot, uh, shows. So I have, I'm making multiples of everything. So, and it's your choice. It's your choice. So you can say, I want a Santa hat. And you tell me which one. Um, you want the bulbs, you're getting six. Um, and whatever else. I'm not telling you whatever else. Because I have a fantastic nativity that's coming up. Now, personally, I'm going to sell this nativity for $65, $70. You're going to get a choice if that's when you want Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. Um, I'm driving Tony crazy right now. <laughs> I was working on a, a deer um, this morning and then I thought oh I need to do a turkey I need to do something for Thanksgiving so I started sketching it out and started talking to him about it <laughs> he's sitting there he's just shaking he said like okay she's in her zone right now but there's the last one we did he's getting used to me he hasn't seen me in this zone yet I mean I did sewing when we had the thrift shop but I did mainly mainly for customers because I never had any time to do stuff to make the sell um, but now I'm making to sell. I'm, all, I'm still doing the memory bears. I, I'm working on a t-shirt quilt. Well, it's made out of flannel shirts. Um, I have a couple pillows that I'm making. I have a couple bears I'm making. So I'm still doing that. That's in my DNA. That's part of me. I've done those memory items for over 35 years, probably close to 40 years now. So I'm always going to do that. Um, I'm just adding a whole bunch of stuff to it now because now you know, I've been retired for a while and this is now my new job but this is not a job to me 
So, I'll hang that to dry. Just renewed my, um, did the paperwork for my name to be trademarked. Um, work on a website that you can buy not only things I make, but craft supplies. Because, you now I know when I lived in the Uniontown, PA area, you had Walmart. That was it. And Walmart, or no, Hobby Lobby. They don't carry a lot of stuff. And I don't want to pay $20 for an item that I'm using. Then I've got to mark up my price $20. So um, my stuff is going to be reasonable. I'm going to sell everything from, uh, from glue sticks, chalk paint, you name it. If I use it, paddle wire. If I use it in my crafts, I'm going to sell it. So, and if you're looking for something, let me know because I'm setting this up and I'm looking for supplies. If you say, hey, I use this all the time, let me know. I'll try and find it cheaper for you. So, um, these are our two bolts we made. This one is sprinkling the cinnamon on the wet, when it's wet. And this one is mixing the cinnamon in the silicone. Why this gets so much darker by mixing it in, I'm not sure. But I use cinnamon, that's my scent. I buy a candle, wax melts, whatever, it's, a, it's cinnamon. Um, or it's cinnamon scented somehow. But you can do any scent you want. Um, and this is the silicone made by DAP. It's kitchen and bath. Get the low odor because you don't want to be smelling all that crap. And dip them in, hang them to dry. There you go. This is a short one tonight, today. But we're adding these bulbs to something else. And as soon as I get the one item I need, I will schedule that live. Monday, Tuesday, we are, we are having our bathroom worked on. Um, have to have a whole shower redone. It's only a month old, <laughs> so but we have to have it redone. Um, yeah, the people didn't. The lady was trying, that did the work, that had this house, was trying to um, help somebody out. She had them do the shower. It's a beautiful shower, but it's just not functional. It leaks. Water comes out all over the floor. A guy's been here twice looking and tried to fix it. Uh, so now a company is coming and ripping the whole thing out and putting the whole thing back in. And what they charge, I am definitely in the wrong business because what, they, what they're charging to just do our shower is crazy. It's really crazy. So, here's your night light bulbs. Cinnamon sprinkled on it, cinnamon mixed in it. So it's your choice what how deep of a color you want. Or just do them clear. Clear would be great. You would still get that mottled light coming through it. But once they heat up, I'm already smelling this one. Once they heat up, um, you get that real mild scent. How long the scent lasts, I don't know. I'll let you know because it's going in my window. So I got them in the front windows and on, on this side. So thanks for joining me. God bless you. I love you. Thanks everyone that hopped on here. Tony, get back to work. He's supposed to be working today. Um, Dreama, thanks for joining. Hop back on. I'm going to do two videos a week. And I may upload some pre-videoed um, pre ones that I've already done. So I may upload those on here. Just keep track. Get your settings. You, you can do it uh, however many videos you want to watch. You can just get the highlight one, highlights of here and there. You'll get a video um, notification. All of them. 
none of them, some of them, it's up to you. So it, it depends on you just go up to the three dots um, and set it. So God bless you. I love you guys. Dreama, good luck at this flea market. Um, but this might be something that you want to try and sell because Christmas is coming. And these things, you pay three, four, I did. And that's been a while ago. I don't know what they are now because I haven't been in a, at a, um, a shop to, to find out the prices of these bulbs. I know one time I paid $5. $5 for a bulb. Only because I wanted this look. And how do you get it? So, there you go. Night light bulbs. Now, I will say, if you have any size light bulb that blows out, keep them because we're going to use those too. Okay, God bless. Catch you next time. I'll put a notification up. Love ya. Okay, where's, there it is. I need to go off. <laughs> All right.